a CRN original. Attention, you are about to hear the captivating voice of an icon in the movie industry. You have heard him and seen him in performances in over 140 films. He's met and influenced many world leaders, and now he's about to tell you how to unite the America he loves. That job's filled. Unique. Unique. Brilliant. Brilliant. And unpredictable. Unpredictable. Robert Davi is a renaissance man who writes, directs, sings, and does it all with excellence. Yeah, it's okay. We're all very impressed, but let's get on with it now. Robert Davi believes he should use his voice to both repay and help unite America, the America that made his dreams come true. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Robert Davi Show. How stupid am I sometimes? Excuse, I, no, I don't have to hear from you, okay? But yes, thank you very much. Just make sure you that I, you, you know what I mean? Because the last few times I wasn't listening to myself when I started the show. Thank you very much now. How are you, everyone? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I went on a Twitter storm this weekend. I was like, I was like a, a bear. I was like a bear on Twitter. I went crazy. I went insane. I, 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 I. You know? And things continue to get me upset. And I don't want to be upset. You know, I want to be like Lou Costello. Oh, Abbott. You know, I just want to be easy. I want to be easy. Uh, I want to have, you know, I want to have, I want to have classical. I want to have a symphony. A piano. I want piano. Eric Satie. Give me Eric Satie. Give me symphony. Okay, because I am confused. No, so today, or yesterday, I tweeted a bunch of stuff. And um, I'm going to hit on a bunch of things here. Afghanistan, of course. I'm going to hit on the COVID thing that... Uh, the Biden administration has fallen apart on some dangerous stuff. You know, the testing from Abbott, the company Abbott, that had us all the tests that Trump made sure we had enough vaccines and tests. Well, guess what? The Abbott company is destroying COVID tests. So that means the kids in school are not going to be able to be tested. People at jobs and every other place, they're not going to be able to be tested for COVID. Come this fall, Watch what, mark my words, mark this date down, because we'll replay this show back then in a couple of months. Because of the Biden administration, lack of attention to detail and leadership, we are going to be suffering because we will not be able to test the COVID because they did not stockpile it. How stupid can you get? Uh, that is what the Democrats do, you see. The Democrats, I'm sorry, Democrats, but you, you don't think ahead. You, you don't. It's like, you know, you're all a bunch of nutty professors, not even Buddy Love. Remember the Jerry Lewis movie, the um, the nutty professor, um, and um, it's it's like that. It's like the governance of, of stupidity, the governance of, in, you know, they call efficacy of the vaccine. We need a vaccine against Democrats. We really do. I think there should be a vaccine against the stupidity of the Democratic Party or the, a certain amount. Because, you know, I feel bad. I don't want to separate. I want to unite us as, as, a, as a country, as a people. But the, the more I hear the ignoramuses on the left and the policies on the left, the more I go insane. The more I go like, what's, what's going on here? What are, we not, what are we not seeing? What are we not understanding? You know, the Biden administration regarding emergency management of COVID are like they're like a five-year-old. So imagine a five-year-old soccer team chasing the ball, <laughs> okay, <laughs> like all over the field. That it's poor leadership. COVID's not going to go away; it will resurge. And now they have a different approach. What's that? Instead of saying, "Okay, do we have enough supplies?" 
test kit materials under our contracts with Abbott. What did they do? Abbott laid off their work and stopped production of testing materials and gone as far as to destroy testing materials because Biden, by Democrats, by Democrats, gave them no guidance. So there you go. We'll be in trouble in a little while, my dear friends. And um, another thing that really just got me crazy, I have video, exclusive video, of the Afghans, the Taliban, and their weaponry, some of the weaponry, and hundreds of millions of dollars in American cash. I have, I have this. I have this. I'm going to try to send it to my son. Do you have it? I'll send it to you. I'll send it to my son, Nikki. And Nikki will post this so we can watch it together and I can talk about it. We could thank Joe Biden. And you know what? Last night I watched an interview by a General Kellogg, great human being, not like Millie, not like the weak fish Millie who lied. No, we got a General Kellogg who's like, who's like a, you know what I mean? I talk about America being the first transgendered nation. Well, you see what I'm saying? This Millie guy was born in the, you know, he went to Princeton or whatever it was, educated in, the, in humanities or whatever it is. He's a, he's a he's, you know, he, he's been effeminized. He's an effeminized. We got effeminized generals. What's that saying? I don't know what it means. Where do I send it? I don't know where to send it. I'm sending it to you and then you send it to there. He wants me to send it someplace special. How do I know? I'm going to send it to you, all right? Anyway, a feminized general. I want a guy like Kellogg, who was born, you know, years earlier, my, even earlier than my generation, in the 1940s. That guy still has a vestige of kind of spine to him. And hearing him last night talk about his work with Trump and Trump in the Oval Office, this general had nothing but praise for Trump. Not his tweets <laughs> that the world seems to be focusing on and his work before he became president of the United States. And this drove me nuts. Hearing it over and over again and the lies that the left keep perpetrating drive me crazy. I don't know if you're driving in your car, if you're listening at home, wherever you're listening to. You've got to hold the left accountable for lying and the right. Both part. No one is innocent. I say that over and over again. I want you to make sure you know that. No one is innocent. But what Biden and the Democrats have done, even with as far as COVID, lying about COVID, the Democrats did this to get Trump out of office. Now we've got a Taliban. We've got a, we've got a country. And look at the Taliban. There are different factions going on, my friends. You know, Trump did talk to Taliban leadership, but the whole idea of it was, do you think Trump's a New Yorker? You read The Art of the Deal, you morons, you left-wing morons. You used to worship Trump. You read The Art of the Deal. It was a deal. And he could break it if they broke it. No one expected Trump to march out of Afghanistan. That's not his mentality. And this is what this General Kellogg brought up. And look at his bona fides, this general. Look what the bona... I'm going to get the bona fides of this general instead of this Millie guy. I, 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 look at him. I'm not knocking the Millie guy. But he's effeminized. The woke. The wo I'm sick of hearing woke. Yeah, we're going to vestige this. You know what I'm saying? America would have never been founded. If these guys stayed back in Europe, America would have never been founded because we have a bunch of weaklings. Look at today's society. Look at it. Drugged out. Indoctrinated. And you hate to say it over and over again. You hate to not be, you know, part of, the, part of that in Hollywood stupidity. I call it the wall of bigotry. I, I just don't understand it. Do you? Do you understand it? Because I don't. All right, let me get General Kellogg here. General Kellogg. 
I remember that uh, Keith Kellogg. Here he is. All right, here. Let, let me do this. There's a speech. All right. Retired Lieutenant General, U.S. Army, served as National Security Advisor to Vice President Pence, Executive Sec- Secretary, Chief of Staff, United States National Security Council in the Trump administration, uh, administration, National Security Advisor, on an acting basis following the resignation of Michael T. Flynn. He served in the 101st Airborne Division in World War, uh, in Vietnam War. I mean, this guy here, his, his bona fides go on and on. He was in the 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment. Uh, I, I mean, he was in Desert Operation Desert Storm, Chief of Staff to the 82nd Airborne Division, Assistant Division Commander. I mean, the, the medal's on this guy. And this is the guy Trump was getting advice from. And he said Trump would never have left Afghanistan in this state. Never. Do you understand that, Hollywood? Jimmy Kimmel! Shame on you. Shame on you sitting there in Beverly Hills. And there's Stephen Colbert dancing away with Chuck Schumer in New York City before the hurricane. Like a bunch of monkeys dancing around. You should have seen the way Colbert was dancing. My wall of bigotry. My wall of stupidity. How dare they? How dare they get a pass on what they're doing to this country? Tearing the fabric of this nation apart, thread by thread. The flag being frayed by the Democratic and GOP elites like Cheney. Davi, back in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a question. Did you know withdrawing your cash from the bank can be very risky? That's right. So please listen up. Are you aware that banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any behavior they think is suspicious? It's true. I was shocked as I read Swiss America's blockbuster report, The Secret War on Cash. This new war against cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. Listen to me. You must read The Secret War on Cash. Now get your free copy by calling 866-219-3750. That's 866-219-3750 or visit SwissAmerica.com. This war on cash is growing daily and also includes all forms of digital money. So please, get ahead, read The Secret War on Cash, free to every Robert Davi fan today by calling 866-219-3750. That's 866-219-3750. And then you'll thank me later. Deb's constipation with belly pain, discomfort, and bloating kept giving her grief. She talked to her doctor to get some relief. Turns out Deb had irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC, which was a start. Saying yes to Linzess helped her do her part. Linzess or linaclotide is a prescription medicine that treats IBSC in adults. Linzess works differently than laxatives. It lets you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than six and it should not be given to children 6 to less than 18. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. There could be more to your story with IBSC. Talk to a doctor today. Say yes to Linzess. Learn more at Linzess.com or call 1-800-L-I-N-Z-E-S-S. Sponsored by Avian Ironwood Pharmaceuticals. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. 
Robert Davi. You know, I'm the one delivering the message, not receiving it. So, my dear friends, here we go. So, this is Keith Kellogg, I mean, General, a guy with these tremendous, courageous bona fides. And, uh, you know, Millie's got bona fides too, but the guy lied about stuff. And he's into this other thing that's going on in terms of feminizing. Uh, and, and I don't make that a negative thing, believe me. It's a, it's a philosophical understanding because do you think the Taliban are effeminized? Do you think that terrorists are effeminized? Do you think there are an effeminized armies around the world protecting you and your family? And your, your wives and your children, your daughters. And I'm not saying that doesn't have an aspire. That has nothing to do with being, being gay. It's a mindset. It's a weakened mindset. And um, it's unfortunate. So, at least for me, this Kellogg last night put, and I've heard it several times before from other sources, like. Uh, uh, what's his name uh, Patel Kosh Patel another guy that was inside the inner sanctum there saying that Trump would never have made the decision that Biden did so put that to sleep let's end that the lie of the left to make themselves feel better you're not going to feel better it's on you it's on you you know and, um, you know, I, I, I heard, all right, I saw this article. Then I heard it on the radio today. Jennifer Horn in Grant Stinchfield, I heard it on the radio today. And I read the article the other day about, I saw it, Larry Elder is the face of white supremacy. Larry Elder, wow. Larry Elder. You're the face of white supremacy, Larry. You're the black face of white supremacy. Go get that one. Go figure that. How is Larry Elder the face of white supremacy? I don't understand. Give me. I want to understand that. Let's let's look up Larry Elder. Let's look up his Wikipedia. Let's let's find out Larry Elder for a little bit. Wiki, on Wiki. Let's find Larry Elder on Wiki. Here he is. Here he is. All right. He was born April 27th in 1952, so he's 69 years old. He's a conservative, talk radio host, author, attorney. Okay? 1993, he began his station to 2008, and then a second run from 2010 to 2014, and then from 2002 to 2000, then the Salem since 2015. So he's been on the radio dealing with political ideology and all kinds of stuff. But he's a conservative. And he was born in Los Angeles. Oh, guess what? In the city's Pecon, Pico Union and South Central areas. His dad was born in Athens, Georgia. His dad was a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps during World War II. Moved to California from Georgia after the war during the Second Great Migration. And his dad worked as a janitor at Nabisco. And then he opened a cafe around 1962. He said his dad was gruff and blunt. And he intimidated him and his brothers. I had a dad like that, World War II guy. So they got a gold medal, congressional gold medal for their father. Him and his brother accepted that. That's touching to me. Honored the father, World War II veteran. Black man was in the Marines. And this is Larry Elder's dad. And the uh, LA Times dares call this man the black face of white supremacy? Is this dishonest? Who wrote the article? Who owns the New York Times, uh, the L.A. Times? 
Who owns the LA Times? I think we have to research him, people. I want people to research who owns the LA Times and other publications. It's a billionaire from South Africa. I won't say his name. I couldn't pronounce it because his parents came from China to South Africa because of the Japanese. He owns the LA Times. And the girl that wrote the article came from Ohio to California in 2018. Seems like a nice person, but she wrote two very damning articles about Larry Elder and race. Within a, and there was no counter thing in the paper. And I, I hold the, you know, I understand what happens in Hollywood. Rob Reiner and Seth MacFarlane and uh, Norman, Lee, whoever it might be, could perhaps call up the L.A. Times or gets a call from Getty and says, we've got to destroy Larry Elder. Now, I'm doing ads for John Cox, but I don't like, I don't like when the hypocrisy of the left attacks a man. And it's a black man because he's conservative. How dare you? What has the left done for the homeless? What has Gavin Newsom done for the homeless? It starts here in California. We've got to change America. You've got to wipe that smile off Gavin Newsom's face and Pelosi's face. You understand how important it is? Pelosi's pulling the strings. Do you know who the L.A. Times owner, best friend is politically? Take a guess. Initials are J.B. Yeah, the guy's a doctor. He worked on great things. Not negating that. But let him work on having his L.A. Times not be... He's a doctor that works for cancer. But don't let the cancer of the left infect the L.A. Times totally, sir. Be fair. Be fair. Have some positive opinion articles by other people so it can be fair and let the people decide instead of taking your orders from the Hollywood left-wing contingent that you and your celebrity wife want to bow down to, perhaps. We've got to tell the truth to the American people where this stuff comes from. If we don't do it, we lose everything. It's got to be accountable. So what? He's conservative. Larry Elder. The inner cities aren't thriving. Homelessness isn't healed here. Gavin Newsom did nothing. You saw who Gary... Let me find out now. I want to Wikipedia Gavin Newsom. His laundry place. Gavin Newsom. Let's, let's Wikipedia Gavin Newsom. We've got to know who these people are, where they come from. Why they smell the way they do. Don't you think? Let's sniff Gavin Newsom a little bit. Businessman. All right, very nice. Born October 10th, 1967. Okay. Right there, 1967. So Elder was born earlier. You see the effeminacy of it all. Anyway... Newsom did this and Newsom did that at age 36 elected the 42nd mayor of San Francisco the youngest mayor in the city for a century and then he got more votes and then lieutenant governor and he's on the rise Gavin Newsom he's on the rise he's the the post of this is Robert Davi allow me to introduce you to the most trusted name in precious metals Swiss America since 1982, they've been helping Americans protect their wealth from dangerous government spending and runaway debt. Now, it's no secret gold and silver prices have rocketed over the last decade. With all of the rising uncertainty, experts say precious metal prices are headed much higher in the months and years ahead. Now, to help protect my fans, Swiss America has a very special offer. Swiss Walking Liberty Half Dollars at the amazingly low price of $12.50 each delivered. That's right, $12.50. So call now, reserve your silver coins at 866-219-3750. That's 866-219-3750. Silver Walking Liberty Half Dollars from Swiss America. For just twelve fifty each, delivered, while supplies last. Again, 866-219-3750. 866-219-3750. Do it today. 
You order a glass of your favorite Cabernet, fresh asparagus, hollandaise on the side, a filet, medium rare. You unfurl your napkin with a flare, close your eyes, and prepare to listen. Ah, there it is. The sweet music you long to hear. The sizzle. The sizzle of a Ruth's Chris steak. The most magnificent corn-fed prime beef, broiled to perfection at 1,800 degrees. Some call it a sizzle. We call it an anthem. As the waiter approaches, you think, is this one mine or that one? Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Like Ruth always said, life's too short to eat anywhere else. Make a reservation online at ruthschris.com or by calling 800-544-0808. Tired of lockdown? Let the reconnect begin. You belong here. Welcome home to the magic of Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California. Check out our new spacious outdoor dining al fresco. Romantic. Market lights. It looks like a movie set. Dine under the stars and enjoy our tasty Angelo's and Vinci's pizza, pasta, seafood, chicken, salad dinners, and more. In the cool of the evening, come enjoy our award-winning menu, new wine list, specialty cocktails, like our peach bellini martini, appetizers, and more. Angelo's and Vinci's now open every day from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. for relaxing outdoor dining. No reservations needed. Just come on in for delicious Italian food. Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante, 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton. Call 714-879-4022. We're going to need a lot of pasta to get through this year. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton today. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. All right, is that a Q2 or a Q3 expense? Dwayne's CPA went MIA. No. To keep his books and his sanity, he needs to find a replacement ASAP. Hey, Johnny, have you ever heard of a fungible good? Indeed can help him hire the people he needs. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. When you sponsor a job, you immediately get your short list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job criteria. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. The Robert Dobby Show. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Not anymore. So anyway, I get upset with this LA Times thing. This attacking of, of, of Larry Elder. All right. So this guy here, you know, let's look at him. I, I, I was looking at... So anyway, so Gavin Newsom, you know, he, he, he started a thing after school. Santa Clarita University, Santa Clara University. And he founded the Plump Jack Wine Store with family friend Gordon Getty. Okay. And a group to manage 23 businesses, wineries, restaurants. That's the French Laundry thing. Young guy doing that. Successful. God bless him. You know, his dad was a, was a, was a, was a lawyer. His daddy was a lawyer. And he was working for the Gettys, the daddy. The father was a Getty lawyer. And that's where the, the father, William... Let's look at William Newsom. Oh, born the same day. Oh, no, he died. He died December 12th. All right, sorry about that. February. And an appeal court judge and administrator of the G Getty Family Trust. God bless him. San Francisco. It's interesting to look at the connection of, of, uh, of different things. Sanford Law, University of San Francisco. California, born 1962. Getty Oil. Lawyer, you know what I mean? Jerry Brown appointed Newsom to Superior Court as he... Jerry Brown also appointed Gavin Newsom as a, as a city supervisor of parks or something like that. Parking. Something like that. Environmentalist. Sierra Club Foundation. The Environmental Defense Fund. Um, and uh, so this was, uh, you know... Yeah, so he, he had this. He had all of this stuff. Uh, 
Wonderful. So the father, I don't see any military service for the father. Now, the reason why I say that is because when as a father, and this is not a prerequisite, I did not have any military service, okay? But my dad did and all my uncles did, and it bleeds down. It bleeds down in some way, like Larry Elder's dad was in the Marines and got a Congressional Medal of Honor. The father. Presumptuously. Or posthumously. Whatever the, there's a word for that. Sorry for my, my ignorance. You know, but anyway, so enough about this. But I don't see the criticism on how Gavin Newsom handled the homeless situation and the other issues, the fires. Even, not even pretending to think about we're going to have a water shortage and what do we do for it in the future. You know, uh, so there, there's that. I, I'll leave that issue right now. But that was on the table. That got me so upset. Do we have any videos ready yet? Both? All right. So I'm getting a head nod that we have both videos ready. So as I talked about, let's take a look. Let's pivot now. And We're not ready? This means yes. When you do this to me, this means yes. This means no. T talk to me, Nick. Come on, camera, Nick. Talk to me a second. He can't right now. Okay, so we don't have the video. Get rid of this music right now. It's it's exploding in my head. Put something mellow on. That thing is pounding in my brain. Stop it, all right? Don't answer me back on camera. All right? Unless you're going to come on camera and put yourself on camera. All right? Don't think you can hide behind a microphone and your little your little twerkiness. Come on camera with me. Yeah, well, homie. So anyway, so what do we have? We have, uh, what else do I want to yak about? You know what? Let me talk about this here for a second. You know, I, I was given something recently that help, that I feel helped me. And, um, you know, I, I know a lot about this, I, even from my swimming pool. My swimming pool has to have the right chemical balance. Or what happens is it it hurts the, it hurts the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the pool surface, you know? It hurts that, what's it called? What's the pool surface called? Nick? Yeah, what is it called? You know when you re-top a pool, what is it called? Plaster, the plaster, the plaster. It's like, it's like, you know, bone marrow. Anyway, if the pool isn't balanced, it sucks the calcium out of the plaster and it starts to create crumbling in the pool. So I, I don't know. I'm thinking chemistry, water chemistry. So they sent me this stuff called Balance 7, and it's a, it's a dietary supplement and an alkalizer concentrate, and it has all these benefits. So, you know, I took my little thing for it. My wife took it, and uh, you, get, you get more energy. You get mental clarity. You get relief from joint discomfort. Uh, discomfort. It boosts your immunity. You optimize a pH balance, which is very important. It can help when you're detoxifying. It can help with weight loss. And it relieves heart boil, heartburn and, and, and aids digestion, which it did, the digestion. I, I felt a, a thing, you know, uh, within a few minutes. And I gave it to a friend of mine. I said, hey, try this, who came over for dinner. And he felt the same kind of, you know, uh, you got to gulp it down because it has an interesting flavor. But you get used to it. So, you know, at least go to balance7rightnow.com. Balance7.com and use the code Robert Dobby at checkout. And, you you know, you receive a four-ounce bottle of this stuff. And um, they got my smooth skin with any purchase of, of Balance 7 products. It retails at $13.99 and is free with your Balance 7 dietary supplement order. And we need smooth, especially in the dry climates. You know what I mean? I noticed that when I go, I was in Hilton Head, and my family was, even my son noticed. In Hilton Head, where the humidity is good, the skin feels a lot better. California sucks it out, so this, my skin is probably good for this in, in, in different parts of the country. 
So go to balance7.com and use the code Robert Dobby at checkout and uh, get your order. Balance 7 pH concentrate. You know, I know it helped me and I'm continuing to use it and I'll give you more results as I continue. Um, and I never use anything to excess. I always use it in moderation. You know, I'm not fanatical about anything. But uh, give it a try. See how it works for you. Let me know. Now, do we have those clips, my son? Uh, why? No, no. How far is the break? How, how long? We have two minutes left? Okay, so we'll, we'll play these clips given to me from Intel. I posted them on Instagram, and they went kind of viral. Um, kind of shocking, I would say. And uh, I want to show them to you and get your feeling on it. And, uh, you know, Pfizer, as we know, has uh, said the FDA is, is approved. Pfizer's been approved, and now they're going to push the vaccine. And we don't have enough testing. <laughs> so maybe it was all part of the plan. Scare everyone into getting the... I, okay, I got vaccinated. My son got vaccinated. My wife did. Um... You know, I, 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 I've been getting vaccinations for flu for years and, and the pneumonia thing and all that stuff. Who knows? And I know Robert Kennedy Jr. very well, and he's anti-vax. But, you know, I guess I grew up in an era when, you know, they gave us the polio vaccine and we were used to taking these vaccines. And uh, I rather, you know, and I've heard people getting COVID that had the vaccine and people that got it that didn't get the vaccine. So it's, it's you're hearing all this uh, gobbledygook on it all. You got to go with how you personally feel. Um, I err on the side of caution. And now that it's FDA approved, maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> so... Anyway, my dear friends, um, what else can I go on here in a couple of seconds? I've got 30 seconds of airtime now. You know, I don't know what to tell you. There's so much to talk about. Oh, uh, boy. So we got that. We covered that. Uh, can we go off the air now for Pete's sakes? I just want to go have a nice, nice tea somewhere and, and relax as you do. Chill out with me for a second. Pray. How about a prayer? You know, or how about, you know, a song? We'll Dobby, back in a minute. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it. You could junk it. Or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car, and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now, 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now, 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. Columbo's, since 1954, has been serving up fine dining in a relaxing atmosphere and all at an affordable price. Columbo's is still doing something right. It's why so many travel from the west side and the valleys to experience and enjoy what Eagle Rock has known for years. Columbo's is truly something special. Columbo's serves up some of the most succulent, delicious steaks, as well as outstanding seafood offerings in all of Southern California. And the Colombo family's Italian specialties are worth the trip from anywhere. Colombo's is a memory maker. Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. 323-254-9138. 323-254-9138. Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club. Serving up fine dining in a relaxing atmosphere and all at an affordable price. Colombo's, of course. 
If you drive a car, truck, SUV, or vehicle of any kind, you need GetUpside, the free gas app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. That's right. With the free GetUpside gas app, you can get up to 25 cents a gallon cash back every time you buy gas. Nearly 3 million people have earned cash back with GetUpside just for buying gas. I always use GetUpside. Some months, I make 200 to $300. I love getting money back for things I use every day. It's just free money for buying gas. There's no catch. It's simple. And you get your cash back right away. Download the free GetUpside app now in the App Store or Google Play to save up to 25 cents per gallon when you buy gas. Use promo code BEACH for a 25 cent per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's up to 50 cents a gallon on your next fill up. You can cash out anytime to PayPal or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. Earn cash back on gas on every fill up. Just download the free GetUpside app and use promo code BEACH for a 25 cent per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code BEACH. Robert Davi. Another $80 million write-off. I guess it's time to start cutting overhead. Yes, it's time to start cutting overhead. Take a look at the overhead here in Afghanistan. Play the money clip, Nick. This here was sent to me by Intel. Won't tell you who, but take a look. I think there's more than 80 mil here. You'll see it in a second. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning we'll be able to play it. I thought you had it, Nick. It was just working. It was just working, and now it doesn't work. What a great lead-in. I thought I had some kind of seamless moment to my show. Get Jeremy, please. Get Jeremy. Jeremy, please come in here and play this clip. All right? Uh, Jeremy, <laughs> he, he just had the clip. I had a seamless, another $80 million write-off. We were going to play the clip right away of this Afghan clip here. And for some reason, it can't play. I know that on, on Jennifer Horn's show in the morning, boy, those engineers, in two seconds, she pulls up sh stuff. It, it's right at the fingertips. Here I am. Producer less. Here, no, that's 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 the. I don't want that one. I want the money clip. That's the second clip. Yeah, we're live on the air. Live on the air. This is like, you know what? Uh, this is a peek behind. This is Jeremy is uh, working with Nick right now, trying to show these clips that I sent late. My fault. But it should be easy to get these clips up immediately. I, I, <laughs> not the way I sent them. Okay, I, I sent them incorrectly. But if I had a show producer, I could get these things done right away. I need a real producer show to really make this show sing and, uh, and uh, act beautifully. Okay, that's it. That's it. Can we play that? Take a look at this. All right, good. Take a look at that. There it is. These are... <laughs> wouldn't you like to have a, like one row of that <laughs> in your uh, safe? This is in Afghanistan. This is recent. I know some people say, no, this is a drug cartel. No, no, no. My guys that in Afghanistan, this was sent. Look at that. How great is that? That's our money. That's your taxpayer dollars. All right, and we're going to raise taxes, and Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden are going to raise. Now, this is something, Trump, do you think for one second, my dear friends, Trump would let that happen? Really, come on. You know, everyone talks about, this is a guy, Trump wanted NATO to pay us. He wanted countries that we're saving to pay us. And do you think for one second, Trump would leave that money behind? Now, let's show the other clip. Here's the other thing. I just want to show you, because you have to see. Here you go. This is now. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. I don't speak Pashto. Look at that. That's our weaponry. There's your taxpayer money. And this is only like one little section. I mean, this is nothing. This is really like, this is like, you know, this is like, think of having thousands of 7-Eleven stores filled 
with weapons like this, and they're all in Afghanistan. But they're big warehouse things. Wait, wait till you see. This is all thanks to Joe Biden. We left there. Do you realize what happened here? What did we give the Taliban? Who are they? And who's going to get this weaponry? And let alone, they have now more Black Hawk helicopters, the Taliban does, than 106 nations in the world. This is us. This is the United States. This is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, Nancy Pelosi, Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom said, you know what he said? He says, this is the state of refugee. And this moron from the LA Times is writing stories about, what's he writing about? About Larry Eldon is a white supremacist with a black face. That's what they're writing about, not this. You understand where this country's going? Take a look. Now listen, I told you at the beginning of the show, Kellogg, Keith Kellogg said, this never would have happened, the general. Look at it, America. I'm showing you videotapes of hundreds of millions of dollars that were left there, and also all this weaponry, just one little section of it. Now we've got stuff all over the country, Humvees, this kind of equipment, you're seeing Tons and tons and tons of automatic weapons, automatic rifle weapons, guns, all kinds of stuff. This is what's being shown on camera right now, if you can't see it. All right, this is right from Afghanistan now. Do you understand? Let's vote some more Democrats here. And GOP elites. Cheney. Cheney's a phony. That Cheney woman is a phony. All right, she's a phony. I don't get it. All right, that's enough, Nick. That gets me sick to look at that. It's going to make the American people a taxpayer, and they're going to raise our taxes. And Gavin Newsom says this is a state of refugee, and he wants all the Afghan refugees to come to California. Why don't you write about that, L.A. Times? Write the story that Ga Gavin Newsom welcomes the Afghan refugees. You know what? They burn their passports. We don't know who they are. That's right. 10,000 people. Prisoners were let out of prison in Afghanistan. We don't know who they are. People that we put in there and paid the Taliban to watch for us. There's different terrorist organizations that are more devastating than the Taliban. Taliban leadership, Trump, there were deals that could be made, okay? Trump, could, there could have been deals made. Let me give you some in intel here, all right, about this whole thing. And I've, I'll, I'll play this on tomorrow. The U.K. Armed Forces says possible threat of Islamic State suicide bomber attempting to board a flight or target Kabul airport. The minister for the U.K. Armed Forces, James Hayapi, says that there is a possible threat of an Islamic State suicide bomber attempting to board a flight out of Kabul or target the Kabul airport. There are people who have been identified as being on the UK no-fly list, currently attempting to get on British flights out of Kabul. Kabul. I don't know how to say that kind of state, but Kabul. There are people right now in Kabul trying to get on British flights that we have identified in our checklists as being on the UK no-fly list. All right, so you got that. Now what happens when they come here? What happens when they come to America? Biden's leadership, and tomorrow I'm going to show you what's been put in the, the SAS is in dramatic desert raid to save troops from Taliban. Wait till you see this video tomorrow. All right? So, <laughs> it just, it, it's a never-ending, and never-ending disaster here. Never-ending disaster with them. I've got to get to this one spot because it's so important to, to show you. And also China now, don't forget. Now, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. You know what, I'm gonna have to read this to you tomorrow. They, I told you about the Intel, the uh, communication thing that we could have got for $145 million. And, uh, 
the metals that China is now buying into Afghanistan. Anyway, it's what's happening. And we let it happen. And I can't pronounce all these names. I wish I could pronounce these names. I, I don't even want to. I don't want to spend the time pronouncing the names. And uh, it's the lack of leadership. It's a disaster. Okay. And you've got a, a group of terrorists called the Sa- 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 I don't know Sequiti. Uh, it's it's a different group, uh, more more uh, volatile than the. Uh, I feel like my IQ has dropped. I didn't have breakfast. The, ha- the Haqqani Network, a Sunni Islamic militant terrorist organization. That's the true threat. The Haqqani, H-A-Q-Q-A-N-I Network, Sunni Islamic military militant terrorist organization. There's a tel- terror cell which we are tracking, former Al-Qaeda fighters, They've relocated from Iran now into Afghanistan. Anyway, I'm going to get more of this stuff tomorrow to you. This is all intel coming from Afghanistan to me, being told to me in real time that I want to give to you. You know, interesting, isn't it? Anyway, I'd much rather sing. I want to sing. I want to do poetry. This stuff makes me tongue-tied. Gives me a knot in my stomach. The street, the house, the road. <sighs> Yeah, listen to me for 60 seconds. Make this loud and this is what I want to do. The school, the clubhouse, the million lights I see, but especially the people. Yeah, the people. Well, the people let us down too. I guess because of indoctrination, education. Tomorrow I'm going to talk about the transgendered America. So tune in for it because I'm going to give you my feeling on what's going on. Now the Taliban is threatening Biden. Consequences if evacuation is extended. What does that mean? They're threatening you, Joe. Threatening America. All right. See you tomorrow. God bless all of you. favorite talk show sounding like this what if you could hear your favorite talk shows in crystal clear high definition sound well with crn digital talk radio seven channels of high definition radio you can now hear all your favorite hosts